If you are a video content creator or a small business owner that is using video to attract potential customers or clients to your business, and you have a link in bio that looks something like this, stop and watch this video because I'm going to introduce you to links, an easy to use drag and drop link in bio option that will help you take your link in bio to a whole new level and showcase your video content on top of your free resources and products and services. Hi y'all, it's Vivian with The Season Marketer where we help small business owners with less than five employees go from confused to confident with their marketing. Video is all the rage right now and for good reason. It does help to foster relationships over a long period of time to get people to trust you so that eventually it makes it easy for them to buy products and services from you. And so if you're a small business owner that is leveraging video content to help drive revenue to your small business, let's say you're a realtor and you have a video podcast or a YouTube channel that you're posting on every week, well then you know that some of those link in bio options that are currently out there aren't really geared towards video content creators. So either they're hard to maintain or they're just not as aesthetically pleasing. And trust me, we know from experience as well. We were actually creating our link in bio page in Canva and then taking the code and embedding it onto our own website at thisseasonmarketer.com. There were a few things that became really hard to do with this option. So it's a great option. The only thing is that for one, uh, the design wasn't anything to write home about because we are not graphic designers and we can utilize Canva and some of the templates in there and modify and edit them, but it just wasn't as aesthetically pleasing as we would have liked. Additionally, because we were uploading weekly content, every Monday morning when we had a new video come out, we would have to take that YouTube link and then refresh it or update it in the Canva template, re-download the code, and then go back and embed it um, onto the website. So this was just something that we were doing every week, which is fine. I mean, you get used to doing it and it'll, you know, it takes a matter of five minutes. It's just one of those things that it'd be nice not to have to do and save a little bit of time. So when we were on the hunt for a potential new link in bio app or platform that we could use, we were jazzed when we stumbled upon Lynx. Lynx, which is spelled with two eyes, is a third party platform that allows you to supercharge your link in bio. So it's gonna be an alternative to some of the other apps that are out there like Linktree, Shorebee, um, Goji, and LNK.bio. And y'all, a big disclaimer, this video is not sponsored by Lynx. We are simply sharing with you a tool that we have personally come to love and we are currently using to promote our video content. And so we figure as fellow video content creators or small business owners that are focused on video content, it may help you as well. And if anything else, it's just one more option for you to, um, to take a look into. But if you are interested in checking it out or giving it a go, go ahead and click on that link in our description. At this point, we all know that there is no shortage of options out there when it comes to these link and bio platforms. And so for us, we knew that if we were going to switch what we were doing from actually creating our own in Canva and up uploading and embedding the code onto the website, that it would have to be a platform. We'd have to switch to a platform that really gave us a lot of value added or that we felt was very different. And so there were three main reasons that we did take the leap and switch over to using links. Number one, the layout options. I've gone online and found the homepage for links, which is going to be L-I-I-N-K-S dot C-O. You'll notice that here on the homepage, you're able to type your handle, whatever handle you want right here, and then press get started. That's a quick way for you to go ahead and start to um, develop your link in bio page. Now, to go over some of the very basics, 
It is customizable, obviously. Like I said, it does focus on the video format and it's also very affordable. So if that's something you're interested in, it's actually $4 a month, which I think is well worth it for everything you're able to do. This right here gives you profiles that you can check out to see how people have actually set up their links um, page and I would highly recommend going on there just to look at some inspiration so that you can see the different ways that people are using it. Now I already have an account so I'm going to go up here to the right hand corner and click on admin. This right here will show you a mock-up. You'll notice I'll have a link up here. If I click on that link, that is actually what it looks like. Um, this is the link in bio that I've created for the seasoned marketer. Now, going back, as I mentioned, one of the best things about links is that it does have a variety of options or templates that you can use. Um, you could come over here to the design phase and pick a theme. So you'll start right here first by looking through to see what themes you like, it will tell you if they're premium or if they're free. So depending on what you choose your account to be, you'll be able to have access to that. Now, obviously I chose um, to go in and customize one of the themes that I picked. I uploaded the profile picture and then updated the profile bio to say, we help small business owners with less than five employees go from confused to confident with their marketing you can actually collapse a long bio if you want. So if your bio is really long, you can select that right here and you'll notice it will shorten it, but I don't want to do that. I've connected all of our social media accounts right here, obviously email, website, YouTube, and Pinterest as well. Primary text colors can be changed right here and then your primary background and secondary background colors can all be customized as well as what you want your desktop background color to be um, let's say i chose that hit done and that would switch it if for whatever reason if i toggled it right here at the top Notice it's blue, but I'm going to go in and select none because I just want it to stay consistent across the board. Now you also have options um, for soft shadow, solid, you know, shadow on all of these buttons. As you notice, when I select the soft shadow, it turns it to this type of aesthetic. And if I select a solid shadow, it makes it darker right around here, around the buttons. I can also hide the links branding, which I chose to do. And these tactile cards, I can change their, um, the edges of them. So if I wanted them to be like that, or right here, um, it changes the aesthetic of them, but I'm going to just select none on there. I can go in and change the label colors, the card text colors as well. So all of this is uh, customizable and then as well as the title font and text font. So I can change these right here. If I wanna change the title font, which would be this right here, watch this week's marketing video and looking for free marketing resources. I can change that to, let's say a Rubik and as you'll notice, it looks different, but I'm gonna change it back to Open Sans because I am fine with that text. Now, I'm gonna scroll down and continue. Um, you can enable a share button, obviously, and also verified badges on there as well. Number two, how easy it is to use. Another reason that we hopped on the links train is because of how easy it was to build the profile or the pages out. So let me show you the concept and how that works in links. Here to the left-hand corner, you're actually going to have an area that says my blocks. So essentially what you're doing is you're going to pick blocks to stack and right here to the right hand, you're going to see that you have a preview of what that looks like and you could toggle between the cell phone and also the desktop. So 
that will show you the desktop view and then over here will show show you what it looks like on a phone so to begin with you'll notice that the first block i'm going to come through here and show you the options that you have for these blocks you select that plus button right there and this will pop up you can now select if you want a url button that will take people to a specific url an email button a file button where you can put a pdf an image or an audio file a divider if you don't want it to look too cramped and you want to give more space for your content audio video where you can embed uh, youtube vimeo and more you have a text box Instagram scraper, a mailing list, and a folder. So what I did is to begin with where it says, watch this week's marketing video. What we wanted is we wanted people to see what the latest and greatest video content that we had put out there that week. And so I selected a text box to put right there. Now I can go in by editing it just selecting that pencil button and then i can change this as much as i want i can change the text on it underline it um, if i want to so let me underline it and you'll notice i hit save and now it's underlined but i'm going to go in and change that back because that's not necessary next you come in here and i've selected the next one was a uh, video so i wanted it to embed the video link in there so every week whenever we switch out the videos or upload the latest video on monday we come up here select this edit link and we just copy and paste the new video link on here the really great part about this as well an added benefit is that we're not having to create any graphics to go along with this because it automatically pulls the youtube thumbnail that we already have created and uploaded and so that is just one less thing that we have to worry about it automatically will link to the video and when somebody clicks on there they'll then be able to watch that full length the next part is um, we've selected here a URL link or URL button. And the reason we did this is, if you notice, we were able to select an emoji. We selected that alarm emoji, and then we added text right here. It says, click here to be notified every time a new video is available. We are trying to strategically get people to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that they can be alerted anytime a new video is uploaded. The link right up here is our YouTube subscription link that we've created. So basically it's going to take them straight to the little box that will appear on the screen that says subscribe to this YouTube channel. And that is a very strategic way for us to spotlight our video and then try to get more YouTube subscribers. The next part is we wanted to be able to spotlight other recent videos. So if you notice right here where it says check out other recent marketing videos, there's a drop down arrow. If they select it, our other three latest videos will pop up. And the way we did this is by creating a folder. So when you come up here, you would select the folder. And what it does is it's going to group together um, items that are similar. And you give the folder a title. In our case, I'm gonna exit. We titled it, check out other recent marketing videos. We came through here and we selected the video where we embedded it. And then it automatically linked it to that folder. We then did the same exact thing for the next two videos and it grouped and linked those together. So that's why when you drop down, now it appears like that. The next part is we wanted to go in and showcase our free resources. An easy way to do, to do this is to create the text box again, and then right here, we would ahead and created a URL button. Now, the really nice part is if you have several free resources on here, you can actually select up here at the top what this button will look like. So for ours, we selected this, which is going to show a graphic at the top and the text at the bottom. If we changed it to that, it's going to show the graphic on the left hand side and the text to the right of it. 
We can select not to have a graphic with it. We can come back here and select just to have several graphics on there with no text. So if you offer several free resources, you can do that. The other part to this is you go in there and you can select whether to have this free resource uh, listed on there. We chose to list it as a free resource because we wanted people to know that they could sign up and join our community at no cost. Now I can put a uh, paid service or I could change it to um, just say free or you can put another descriptor, whatever you would like up there. But I'm gonna change ours back to free resource. Now, whenever they select this, uh, people will go directly to our free resource community, which is a way for us to collect an email from them. And then they will get a welcome email from us to tell them about all of the free resources that we have and how they can take full advantage of that. So that's a marketing funnel for us to be able to get people on board. Next, um, Further down, we had tools that we use and highly recommend. So these are gonna be tools that we are uh, affiliates with. So Flowdesk being one of them, and then the other one being Canva Pro. For those, we have actually typed in what the discount is, or um, if they get a free trial with it. And so when they click on either one of these, then they can be redirected to these particular websites. The nice thing is, as we kind of grow our affiliate programs, we can add to this. So it's very easy for us just to go in, add another block, and we would do a URL button. And then from there, we would just select, um, you know, to be added to the carousel that's already existing. So very simple to use. If we keep going further down, this is where now we're spotlighting our services. Now, some of you may want to do this up ahead or you know at the beginning of your page, and you could do that very easily. You have complete capability to customize this. For us, we um, wanted to first promote our video content and then our paid services. So notice we put paid services on both of these. We have social uh, media marketing services, and then we also have email marketing services. Further down, we've actually uh, put our merch link in there. So the great thing too is you're able to look at how many people have clicked on these so far. And um, so far we've had five people click on that merch shop. The great part is for each one of these, we took an image and we were able to embed the link that that particular product is um, housed at. So if they want to buy this shirt, then we've added the link to where they could just click and pick their, their size and color and all that, and it'll get straight sent straight to them. Additionally, here at the bottom, um, we wanted to include speaking engagements or opportunities, and this is a great way for us to um, just kind of alert them of another paid service that we have. So as you can see, this is all very simple, easy to do. Select the block that you want on there. You can also add pages. If I wanna go add a page, I simply do that right here. And then you'll notice it will create this little hamburger menu up here to the right hand, if that's something we wanna do. And number three, the focus on video. And last but not least, as video content creators, we chose links because we felt like it was the most flexible as far as being able to really hone in and spotlight our video content. As we've already shown you, by building out these blocks or offering these opportunities for people to embed the videos right there, we feel like it's something that for one, keeps us super organized and it's a little easier for somebody who's new to us to be able to come in and kind of see what 
we're known for or what our bread and butter is, right? So for us, it's very important for people to have access to free resources, free video resources that will walk them through um, some type of tutorial or just giving them information about marketing tips that we share. And this allows us, links allows us to spotlight that. So here at the top, I think because it pulls in that thumbnail and it creates consistency so that when they do land on the YouTube channel, it's consistent um, imagery that they're seeing, that helps. On top of that, for us personally, we really loved the capability of being able to build folders of um, items or of libraries of videos that we have. So another way or application that we can use this is let's say that we really wanted to spotlight because the holiday season's coming up, we wanted to spotlight our Black Friday tips. If we were doing a series on Black Friday uh, marketing tips, then we could essentially create another folder right here that um, says, Black Friday marketing tips. And so you can start to divvy up your content by categories, by topics, by seasonal um, you know, topics that people are gonna be interested in. And so it allows a lot of flexibility to come in and very quickly come in and take advantage of that. So just reformatting, organizing the content the way that you want so that the person or the target audience that you're trying to attract the most is gonna get the most value out of it. As I have already mentioned, and you could tell, it's very good for video content creators to be able to just maximize all of that information that we're already putting out there on a weekly or monthly basis. If you like this video, remember that every Monday we release a video just like this that could help you save time and money when it comes to marketing your business. If you found this video useful and if nothing else, we just introduced you to a new tool that you could potentially use in the future to help spotlight your video content, then go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to our channel so that you could get notified whenever a new marketing video is released. Thanks again and we'll catch you guys in the next one.